Now, I'm going to be tying basically a grey duster, if you want to call it. It's a grey duster is normally a spider pattern, but I'm going to tie a parachute version with a CDC wing. Uh, in this case, I'm going to put a tail on it as well. Now, this is a, a size 20. Now, quite fiddly to tie, being that size, but they're, they're reasonably easy. Uh, if you, the more you tie, the easier it becomes. But I'll show you tying the way I like to tie them. Now, the hook I'm using, this is a full mill hook, it's a barbless hook. This one here, it's called the Ultimate Dry, in this case, the Black Nickel. And you can see it's a size 20. Now, we start with thread at the eye. Now, I'm just using a Uni 8 -O. You can use finer threads, it's up to yourself. Just remove the waist, and then I'm going to come back up, stop it about, about maybe a mill and a half from the eye. And then get a small CDC feather, which is just a natural coloured CDC. You can do a turn on top now. The base of the CDC is there, and then another one. And then I'm just going to pull it in to the tip, close to the tip, wing length. Now check the wing length, just going sideways. Now don't be shy with the wing length. Then what I do is I take a turn at the back, like a figure eight, and a turn in the front. And that kind of locks them in a wee bit. Now I want to post both the waist end and the tip of the CDC feather. So come round, hold the tip, tighten up towards yourself, go round, tighten towards yourself. Again, three times, four, to the fifth turn, and then end up with two or three turns at the back. And that there will post the wing. Now I'm using the waist end to stiffen up this area down here, but you can also use it to get a shape in your in your wing itself. So from underneath or from the top you can come down at an angle cut, so this is like a straight cut up. Start the cut about say halfway in the waist, and then we just nice straight cut if you can. And that will give you a nice reasonable shape in your flat, your wing, sorry. You can encourage that a wee bit more. I'm just going to take the collar off of that. There you go. Doesn't it? This is more not to float the fly, more to give the impression of the wing and obviously help you see the fly. Tail, I'm just using a Cop de Leon, a dark. Around about maybe four fibres or so. Bring them out from the stem. 90 degrees and they should line up. So they have a tail length, you're looking round about the hook length, which is there, so you put that in your finger and thumb. We trim away the excess. Now I have waxed the thread, so I've got plenty of grip. So you work your way down to get to the point where it's just ready to get around the bend. We can then take, lift and separate the fibres, take a turn underneath the fibres, and then pull towards the eye, and then lock it in with a turn. And we could just open these fibres out. You can see that, there we go. That's fine. Get some dubbing. Now, mole is what you would normally use uh, itself, but I've got a small there, but there's also a tiny bit of uh, under fur from a rabbit just to, just to help bind it. So we just lightly dub it onto a, a thread. And then don't be shy with the body. The grey duster, I like a good body in the grey duster. So we just fold it up towards the wing. Now at this point I'm just going to trim away underneath any long or excess fibre. So we can have a quick look, you can see. It's fine. Now for the hackle I'm using, this is a, a white neck I've got, it's a badger. And using the small fibres or small hackles at the bottom. Just take one away. What we're going to do is just bear some of the fibre away. And then trim. It's important that you wax your thread at this point, make sure you get good grip. So Catch it at the back with a good side of the feather, the front of the feather on the top. I'm just going to do like a, a zigzag or a figure eight through. And then you can use a pair of hackle pliers, but these are long hackles. Do a turn, 
pull the turn underneath that nice and tight and then when you come down with your last, your last turn now you come in line with your thread lift the fibres that you've used now I use my nail to press against the side of the hook and hold the hackle so it's nice and tight so I keep this tight I'm not sure if you can see that but then I keep my nail on that come up with the thread turns keep it nice and tight a good, you want a good 3 or 4 turns in there Draw away the excess you will kind of mess up the hackle looking at this point but we'll bring it back down you've got to do this to put a wee bit of dubbing in and as well tidy up go back to our dubbing you only need a tiny wee drop onto our thread lift up come towards the eye give me the excess fibre there I want to take away and then to varnish all you do is just put a wee bit of varnish just at the point where it's about two or three mil or so from the eye and then we can work finish again just make sure everything's out of the way one two three four tighten up draw your thread and then what we can do See how all, obviously your fibres, I pushed it back and what you've got to do is just basically push, press it back down so from the top just press it press it back down and that'll give you your hackle see how things are sitting now you don't, this fly uh, I wouldn't go anywhere without grey duster especially in the rivers any time of the year it's a great fly uh, depending on the size you want to tie it but this is a, a size 20 and it's a small parachute now these are for a friend that's going to Poland so he asked me to put a selection of dries together for him and as I say I wouldn't leave home without a grey duster so anyway there we are size 20 grey duster and a parachute with the CDC wing so I hope you enjoyed that mm -hmm.